My name is Ed Kinman. I'm a professor of geography at uh, Longwood University as well as the coordinator of the Virginia Geographic Alliance. And I want to, want to speak a little bit about the importance of geography. Uh, geography is a subject, uh, I guess uh, very easily we could say we study the world, but uh, studying the world is, is, a, is a big topic. But trying to put together and, and learn a framework on, on how to examine the world from a geographic lens is uh, something that I've become uh, or feel to, is to be very, very important as I work with uh, pre-service teachers at Longwood. And what I'm trying to get across to these teachers is that geography is not about a long list of facts. It's much more of a way of looking at the world, understanding that we are primarily looking at very specific locations. Uh, that are found uh, throughout the world and then try to understand the conditions uh, and connections. When we talk about conditions, uh, we're talking about uh, the attributes of a place, uh, what kind of uh, topography it has, what kind of built environment that humans have placed there. And when we talk about connections, we say how is one locale uh, connected to other locations um, uh, there, uh, I mean to other places. So it could be uh, uh, connections uh, based upon transportation networks, it could be based upon circulation patterns of, of winds or, or flows of, of rivers. But understanding how a place's conditions and connections uh, help to define a location is a tremendous uh, and powerful insights to be able to understand what is at work uh, at any particular location and what is not. Uh, thinking geographically is, is trying to understand about how our world is, is composed of integrated systems, uh, dealing with aspects of social systems, aspects of biological or life systems, as well as physical systems, and that these different systems are impacting each other. And when we begin to think about these types of interactions, it helps to promote uh, aspects of, of inquiry and, and trying to uh, you know, ask more questions and, and lead to new paths of learning and trying to, to get teachers to realize that they can use that world immediately around them, no matter where they're located. Uh, there's, your, there's the topic of study, is, is that world that's immediately around you. But yeah, Yet, at the same time, that location is connected to other places, um, uh, to, to other places, not only from the standpoint of geographically, but also temporally. You know, you have to understand the past of that location to help understanding what is there present. And, and hopefully to, to think about what actions are being done and, and decisions that are being made at that location, what's going to happen down the future, because ultimately, the importance of, of studying geography, understanding these conditions, these connections, is to make well-reasoned decisions so that we uh, hopefully can do better in, uh, than some of the decisions that have been made on the past. And right now, we're at some very critical junctures as we look at, at aspects of uh, global climate change and what type of decisions we are making for the future.